Hi everyone at Regen. Today we're going to explore all the times when Jesus directly tells his audience that he is the Son of God, that he is their Saviour. Why is this important? Well, it's only through having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and through Jesus we come to God the Father and have eternal life. So if someone asks you, well, wasn't Jesus just a great healer or a prophet? Here are the facts of when Jesus directly told us who he was. Now, Jesus uses the phrase, I am, when talking about himself and reveals a little bit more about himself each time he uses that phrase. Now, the phrase I am is used over 300 times in the Bible, right from Genesis through to Revelations. But the most pivotal moment when God himself calls himself I am, says his name is I am, was when he appeared to Moses in the burning bush, telling Moses to go back to Egypt and free the Israelites from slavery. And here, Moses says to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, what is his name? Then what should I tell them? God says to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. So when God calls himself, I am, this is a pivotal moment in Jewish history. The Jews from then on always used that name for God. In fact, it was such a precious and holy name that the Jewish people never actually uttered those exact words. Um, but those were the words that related back to the God of Israel from that time onwards. Now, in Jesus' time, the Greek word for I am is egoi ime. Now, Jesus uses those words, I am or ego ime, a number of different times through the Gospels. And when he was saying that, he was claiming to be God and all the Jewish people listening to him would have totally understood what he was meaning. He wasn't claiming to be a, um, a wonderful prophet or a healer. He was using those words, I am, relating to himself. And of course, the Jews totally understood him. In fact, that's why they responded so emotionally and sometimes very aggressively when he said it. Now, there are two big times when he directly tells them that he is God and he uses the words I am directly about himself. But then in the book of John, there's also seven different times when he uses the I am phrase as more of a metaphor. And so through those metaphors, we get to understand a little bit deeper about who and who Jesus was. In John 8, Jesus is having a really long discussion with the Jews and explaining to them how they were slaves to sin. Um, and through that conversation, the audience then talk to Jesus about Abraham and bring Abraham up. But then Jesus says to them, very truly, I tell you, Jesus answered, before Abraham was born, I am. Now, that was a massive statement to his audience. Firstly, he was using the phrase, I am. He was telling them that he was the God of Israel. But not only that, but he was also telling them that he was immortal. He was around with Abraham, which was over a thousand years before that. So telling them, I am God and I am immortal, that threw this audience into a complete rage and they tried to kill him at that point. Another time when he directly told people that he was God was when he was already um, had been arrested and the high priests were interrogating Jesus. And they asked him, are you the Christ, the son of the blessed one? Um, and Jesus answered saying, I am. He was using the phrase, I am, in that context. He was saying, I am God. So those were two times when he directly told us who he was. But in the book of John, there are also these seven metaphors where he still uses I am. So we still know that he's telling people that he is God, but he's also giving a more depth and revealing more about who he was. The first time when Johnny does it, he talks about being, he says, I am the bread of life. 
And this was shortly after he had fed the 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. And the people were following him after that. They were wanting to get more information from him, wanting to hear from him, probably also wanting to be fed by him as well. And so Jesus says to them, hold on a minute, the bread I gave you and the manna that the Israelites received from God all those years ago when they were traveling through the desert, that's physical bread. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in him and me will never be thirsty. So Jesus is saying that instead of physical bread, Jesus is the spiritual food that we need for eternal life. The second time he said is, I am the light of the world. Now we know that light overcomes darkness. When we have light, we know which way to turn. We know where to go. And so Jesus is saying, well, I am the light. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And so through Jesus, following Jesus, and through his light, we take the right path in life. Then after that, he tells a story about how he is the gate and the true shepherd. In John 10, Jesus makes two of the I am statements together. He claims that he is both the door through which the sheep will enter, as well as the shepherd who knows the sheep and will lay down his life for them. So showing them that only through him will people come to God and that he is the good shepherd who loves us and cares for us and will lay down his life for us. Next, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. In John 11, after Lazarus had died, Martha ran up to Jesus and said, if you were here, my brother wouldn't have died. And in that conversation, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He's using the phrase, I am, and he's also saying that I am the life giver. I am the savior. And then in John 14, he says, I am the way, the truth and the life. Now, by saying I am the way, the truth and the life, the, the Israelites, at least the Jews, understood the ways in which they could go to God. There were certain sacrifices they had to do, certain things they had to do in the tabernacle, certain prayers. And Jesus was saying, well, I am now the way to God the Father. Lastly, in John 15, he says, I am the true vine. Now, the common uh, metaphor for Israel in the Old Testament was the vine. So by saying, I am the true vine, he's saying, I am the new Israel. By following me, you are my true people. So there it is. So many times in the Bible, Jesus tells us who he is and also gives us more insight into his divine love for us and his plan for us if we choose to follow him. Jesus is the eternal I am. He is our savior and our friend. 